All right, everyone. Got manager Bud Black here. Just a reminder, it is a getaway day, so try to keep the follow-ups just, just one or two. We'll go ahead and start with uh, Manny. Go ahead, Manny. Hey, buddy. Um, Herman, uh, just another outstanding start. Uh, he's now, I think, a one six six ERA over his last six. Uh, and he had a six ERA going into that uh, first one of those six. So what has he done uh, that you've seen that has gotten him back on track to the point where where you see what he's what what you expected from him this season? Well, I, I think first of all, I think we recognized, you know, a number of starts ago that the tempo through his windup uh, was a little was a little fast and then sometimes a little slow. Uh, we did some homework on, uh, you know, really the and by that I mean the, you know, when he starts his delivery, uh, we put a stopwatch on it and uh, and it's. Uh, you know, got to the point where uh, he was hurried or he was slow. So I think, uh, you know, in bullpen sessions, we really worked on him getting a, a consistent tempo uh, from the time he uh, made his first move to the time he released the ball, uh, you know, both out of the windup and the stretch. I think that had a, a big impact. I think that helped, the, you know, his ball strike ratio and his, and his uh, control and command. Uh, tonight or this afternoon, really good breaking ball. And this is a team that uh, doesn't chase a lot. You know, they take their walks, they don't expand the zone. But Herman was in and around the strike zone. Uh, you, know, not, you know, they had to really work hard to, to, to take borderline pitches, which they did, but he was in the strike zone a lot, I thought, with his breaking ball and his fastball. Mixing a couple of change-ups just to keep him honest. But I think it's more about the consistent delivery, both out of the windup and the stretch. Got it. Uh, and last one for me. You guys are uh, going to have an off day. You guys head out on the road. Um, you guys have been playing well at home, uh, but obviously it's been a different story on the road. What What do you hope to uh, – or how do you hope to, to kind of well, turn that around? Manny, we got to score runs uh, on the road. We're doing everything we can uh, through, through coaching, conversation. Uh, early work. Uh, we'll be on the field early in Miami on, on Tuesday uh, with uh, the whole group of players. So we'll get a machine out there. We'll throw breaking balls. We'll throw fastballs. Uh, we'll get in the cage, do the same thing. Uh, you know, we'll talk about their, their starting pitching. We'll talk about their bullpen, what they like to do. Uh, we'll do it all. And hopefully uh, we can turn the, uh, turn the corner on this uh, offense on the road. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Go to Patrick Saunders. Go ahead, Pat. Buddy, one one more question about Herman. Uh, when he was was struggling, he, he didn't look like the Herman we all know. Uh, did you ever sense a lag a lag of confidence? I'm guessing no, but I'm curious if you ever saw. You know, I didn't. I think that uh, you know the only thing I noticed was maybe frustration, uh, but not lack of confidence. You know, Herman has been a you know very reliable productive pitcher for us and when you don't get the results you get frustrated and uh, and as any player pitcher or position player you, you probably try a little bit too hard you put a little bit pressure on more pressure on yourself and I saw that with Herman early in the year and then once uh, you know we, we got on a he got on a little bit of a roll uh, you can see him relax a little bit exhale and uh, you know start making pitches and become the Herman that you know, we're accustomed to seeing consistently. And I think that's the, and I think that's where we are now. So hopefully uh, this can continue. Uh, it's a long season. You know, we still got a lot of baseball up in there. In there. <clears throat> there's peaks and valleys, there are ebbs and flows, there, there's a rhythm to the season. Uh, but right now he's in, a, he's in a good spot. And what do you think has been the key to Daniel Bard's, I don't know if resurgence is the right word, but his, He's looked really sharp lately. So what, what's been key for him? Well, a couple of things. I think I've mentioned them <clears throat> over the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know, we moved him on the rubber uh, to, the, uh, to the middle of the rubber. I think that helps his angles. Uh, we talked about the fastball, uh, you know, running off the plate to left-handed hitters and into righty. So we, we did some things through conversation and a little bit of coaching and Daniel's input to, to try to keep that fastball on the plate. Uh, there were some mechanical adjustments and a little bit of uh, his hand adjustment on the ball at release point uh, to keep it from running too much away from the lefty. 
Uh, we still see it occasionally, but I think it's quick to adjust uh, and get that ball back in the strike zone. Uh, but I think those are the two things that, uh, you know, we really uh, talked about um, you know, where he was on the rubber for, for angles, fastball command, keeping it in the strike zone. And I do think there was a, also an element of, you know, the, the right-handed break, the when he threw a breaking ball, excuse me, to a right-handed hitter uh, to make sure he gets it down and get it, and get it down the way. I think there were some, there were some games there uh, consecutively that uh, he threw some breaking balls that were up and a little flat and, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, easily, easier, uh, easier to hit for the right-handed hitter. So he's made those adjustments. And one more for me very quickly, Brandon Rogers defense at shortstop, from my eyes, was really sharp today. Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I thought he, I thought he had a good game, with the exception of the one play up the middle where he dove, made a great play, and then the arm slot was down. I think that's the thing we got to keep an eye on is, is his his arm slot. You know, he can naturally get the ball. Uh, he can that arm can drop, and he can throw that sort of looping, uh, you know, sidearm throw that uh, for me is a little bit hard to. Uh, you know, really throw consistently and be on target and be accurate. But as far as the hands and a couple of nice plays there, uh, you know, nice plays, nice uh, play there in the eighth inning uh, with with Murphy's ground ball. Uh, that was a tough play. We tried to turn it. Mac made a great turn. His bang bang at first, he was safe. But uh, nice play on the, on the charge early in the game against Pinder. A uh, bare hand play uh, that was solid. Uh, these look good, right? Again, Patrick, we've talked about this. He's a natural shortstop. He feels good there. Uh, you know, we're moving him to second. Uh, you know, we played him in third to, you know, create some versatility for him to get in the lineup. But, uh, you know, it was a good game for him today with the exception of the, you know, the throw from the, you know, from that lower arm slot. Great. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Nick group. Yeah, but if you could just zoom out real quick from this game, um, overall this season, now that we're a significant amount through, um, is there something that you've especially liked about the team compared to last year? Um, and then is there anything that you think maybe they've regressed on a little bit? Well, uh, you know, it's a different team. Uh, first of all, Nick, uh, you look at the, the roster last year, uh, even though it was 60 games, you look at that roster, uh, you can uh, pull it up, uh, you know, we have a lot of guys on that team that aren't here this year. So that's the, that's the first difference, right? Uh, you know, you know, Murph and Ken, Nolan, uh, you know, there's some other guys, uh, you know, Tony, you know, down the, down the list. So it's a different team. Uh, I think this team, what I, what I like is the, you know, the, the, when these guys come to the park, you know, it's a it's a group with the exception. I, you know, even Crone and and some of the guys with experience are still learning because they're you know they still want to play. They still want to have you know the, you know careers of continuing. You know, four or five, six more years. But you know, the Hamptons, the Tapias, the McMahons, Rogers, Daza, uh, Diaz, Nunez, Fuentes. Uh, you know, these guys work every day to get better. And they play with a lot of energy and they play with a lot of heart. Uh, you know, I love that about this group. Uh, so, uh, you know, from a coaching standpoint and a teaching standpoint, it's awesome because you know, they're great listeners. Uh, they're students. Uh, they want to get better and they want to be big leaguers. Because a year ago, a lot of them weren't big leaguers. Or if they were, they were, uh, you know, up and down. And, you know, are they going to be big leaguers? You know, are they going to be guys? Uh but it's, you know, it's, they, you know, they like each other. Uh, they play hard together. Uh, they pull for each other. Uh, you know, all the things you look for in a team, it's here. It's here. Rest assured that this is a team, that they're together. And I, I love that. I love this. I love that about this group. We'll go to Ed Henderson next. Go ahead. Hey, buddy. Congrats today. Good win, Ed. It's a good yeah, game. Yeah, it was. Yeah, hey, buddy, um, talk a little bit. I know going back to a question that Manny had about you guys heading out on the road right now. Talk a little bit, if you would, buddy, about the confidence created by winning a close, low-scoring game against one of the best teams in uh, the American League. Well, today. you know, this, I mean, the expectation of our guys, Ed, is, you know, doesn't change every night. We think we're going to win. I think it starts with 
our starting pitcher, we feel good about whoever we go out there with, whether it's, uh, you know, Sensatel on Tuesday and, and then, the, you know, the Gomber and, you know, now Chi Chi for Jalen when Jalen comes back, Kyle and their mom. We, just, we feel as though we're going to get a good start. And that's a, you know, that's a great start to a game, right? When you like your guy in the mound. Uh, and our guys feel that, right? Uh, we have a ton of confidence in our starting pitching. So, you know, that's step one. And our guys battle. I mean, our, you know, every game's unique yet. It starts with, uh, it starts zero to zero, and, and we're trying to get the other guy. And then you got to remember, and all and everybody, you know, there's another professional team out there with good players who have talent who are trying to do the same thing we are, win. So, uh, and whoever plays the best, it gets big hits, plays defense, more than likely is going to win. So, uh, the expectation level of our group and the, and the standard to play hard and play right uh, and to grow as a team is always there every night. And, buddy, one other quick one for me. Uh, your third base production this year has been pretty impressive, I think, both offensively and defensively. Obviously, you don't replace a Nolan Arenado, but can you talk a little bit about what you've seen from Joshua and Ryan over there? Well, uh, defensively, I mean, I think the, the statistics bear it out that they're, uh, you know, league-wide, they're awesome. You know, all the metrics that show up, uh, defensive runs saved, zone ratings, you know, all the things that come across my desk, we're, we're – well above average. We're one of the better defensive teams at third base in the game and at second with uh, how Max plays. So those guys are doing their job. And, you know, you look at the, the production offensively, uh, even though, you know, the average is, you know, both guys are hitting around 250, 260, uh, but there's ribbies there. Um, you know, Mac has homers. I think Josh has five or six homers. Uh, but, you know, our, no problems there uh, for me at third base or, or at second. Thanks, okay, buddy. Have a good trip. I'll let you get to the other guys. Thanks for the time, buddy. Hey, guys, we got Marquez coming right now. Um, got bags and bus in about 20, 25 minutes or so. So we're going to try to get through him and uh, McMahon for you. All right, we'll go ahead and jump in with Marquez. Patrick, get us going. Hi, Amon. Nice, nice performance today. That was fun to watch. Uh, my main question for you is, do you feel like the way you pitched today and your last few starts, are you being, are you back to being the best Ermar, Ermon Marquez that we've seen? Yeah, I think, man, uh, I think work a lot in my mechanic. You know, get my tempo back, and and then I'm getting the results, man, and then and I feel happy about it. So to follow up on that, Armand, the fact that you put in a lot of work, do you know yourself better as a pitcher now? If that yeah. makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that I'm getting a lot better. You know, when I'm on the right time. We might leave it in on my tempo, and yeah, and I feel uh, good. Everything is coming coming to pretty good. And one more for me, I asked Buddy if he if he thought that you had ever lost any confidence when you weren't pitching as well as you can, and he said no. He didn't think you ever lost confidence. He just thought you were a little bit frustrated. Do you agree with that? Yeah, 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 no doubt about it. Uh, my confidence, my confidence, uh, make me be a, a, a good player, a good pitcher. Uh, I just got frustrated, you know, to to the bad game. But you know, I keep working and the little thing, and, and I get in my my, my resort. Great, thank you. I appreciate it. Matt Graham. Hey, Herman, nice job there. Uh, just want to talk, talk a little bit about that bullpen. What did you think of their performance tonight? What Daniel Barr did, Michael Gibbons getting out of that jam? 
that was amazing. Uh, was, uh, I mean, they, 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 they was pretty good. Uh, I don't have much to say, but it's fun to watch. Thank you. Anything else? Oh, go ahead. Nope, that's good. Thank you. That's perfect. That's all I needed. All right. Anything else from Marquez? All right. Thank you. We thank will you. have uh, McMahon coming up in just a minute.
Everybody, we got Ryan McMahon here. Go ahead and start with Patrick Saunders. Go ahead, Pat. Hey, hey, Ryan Mac. Your, impress your impressions of Herman today? Awesome, man. I mean, we've seen from him uh, before. When, when he's going like that, it's uh, it's really fun to play behind. He's he's working quick and going right at guys. And uh, you know, usually usually when he's doing that, uh, not a lot of teams being scored by the team. Uh, you guys didn't get a ton of hits or a ton of offense today, but you produced when you needed to against a good team, a pretty good pitching staff. Is this the kind of game when you go on the road here that you might have to replicate? In other words, you know, maybe you're not going to get, you know, 12 hits and seven runs, but you need to get key hits at key times. Is that going to be key for you as you hit the road? Yeah, I mean, I think it's key on the road. I think it's key at home. I think it's just key in general to uh, to a good season. You're going to win those games. You can't always outslug the other team. You're going to put together good at bats and uh, you know, make count and score runs without getting hit. So, you know, I, I think that's always going to be our goal, just have good at bats, play hard baseball. And we saw it today. I mean, you, you can win games 3-1. Excellent. Thanks, Ryan Mac. Appreciate it. Go ahead, Nick. Yeah, Ren, I, uh, I don't know if anybody asks you for advice, but you have you have been around for a while now, um, and you're uh, you're obviously um, I mean you're playing at an all star clip. You're you're you know very improved over last year. Is there anything that you would say to like you know just a random player on the team about you know any sort of advice you might give about you know being patient for those improvements that they'll come? Like, is there anything that you've kind of learned over the last year? Yeah, you know, I mean, the thing I've learned the most, man, is, is this game is tough. You can you can feel like you have it figured out. Um, you know, I mean, Nolan Arenado, greatest, one, probably the greatest third baseman ever played this game, Charlie Black and Trevor Story. Over 162 games, they're going to have bad games. It's just how quickly can you remake that adjustment and, and go out there and play with. So, you know, I, I, I think that it's a tough game, and I think that that would be my biggest advice to, to young guys is don't get down when you have a bad game. Like, don't let that turn into a big slide or something like that. Um, you know, I feel like that was something that I did, honestly. I, I keep searching and, and everything like that instead of just going out there and playing the game. And then, and then once the once you've you know, I don't, I don't know if the cruising is the right way, but like you're definitely excelling, uh, accelerating, excelling, whatever it is at this moment. Like, do you, once you get to that point, do you do you feel then that it like even starts to snowball even more from there? Like, you know, once you. You know, that, like the confidence, the confidence just builds on itself over time. Yeah, I think you just get confidence, you know, from being there, being in different situations. Uh, Murphy used to say the best, you know, you out there, bottom of the ninth, base is loaded. Well, first time you do that, you know, you're young, but after you've done it a couple times, you have different, you know, experiences to pull from. So you know what you need to do to, to be successful. Cool. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Go ahead, Tracy. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Tracy. With the change in the way the rosters changed in the last year, and and you've been around now, do you feel like you're assuming more of a leadership role? Do you feel more responsible for helping some of these guys through situations? Um, you know, I, I don't know if I feel responsible, but you know, I, I'm definitely you know open to helping them if they have questions for me or anything like that. And you know, we we've had some good guys before us who who kind of taught us the right way to do things or anything like that. You know, being a guy who has struggled um, before, you know, and had some success now, uh, you know, I, I think that I have a good little little uh, viewpoint, or, you know, point of view on some things. So, um, you know, us being a young team, we have a lot of talent in and, and a lot of guys who can do a lot of really good things. So, you know, I think, I think it's more just a lean on each other kind of mentality. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Go ahead, Owen. Hey, Ryan. Um, you guys just hit the – today was the 60-game mark, um, and, of course, last season was a 60-game season. That's closer to a snapshot than a real season, but um, you guys are two games behind, you know, last year's final record. Does it feel like you're a similar um, quality team to the way the team finished up last year, or is that deceptive? Do you see something different when you compare – where you are after 60 games and where you were last year after 60 games as a team. I mean, honestly, I, I don't think, I don't think you can do that. Um, you know, I, I think, I, I, think <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really looked at it. Um, I'm not really thinking that way. 
162 games is a lot more than 60. Um, so we'll, we'll see where we're at uh, at the end of the 162. Yeah, and I think you you all are, you know, I, I'm sure the numbers show that you're playing better now than you were at the end of the season last year, and, and obviously better than the season started out. Just looking at, you know, where you are at this point in the season, the team, um, do you feel like it's on the upswing, like things are, are going the right way, getting better? Yeah, we're definitely trying to make them that way, that's for sure. Um, and we have a lot of guys come here every day ready to work. And, uh, you know, there's there's no shortage of effort here, that's for sure. All right, thank you. All right, we'll go to Danielle and then finish up with Noah and Dwayne. Go ahead, Danielle. Hey, Ryan, just how are you feeling health-wise after you're out of the lineup for a couple of days? Um, I feel good. Um, you know, at this point of the season, uh, I don't think there's a lot of people feeling 100% or anything like that. So I, I feel good. I feel good, to, feel good to get back out there and play the boys, that's for sure. Those two days you were out, were you working out at all or were you pretty limited just to try and rest up? Um, I was pretty limited, just kind of hanging out in the training room, hanging out in the clubhouse, you know, kind of talking to the guys. But uh, yeah, I was, I was pretty much on the down low. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead, Noah. No, you there? Yeah. Yep. Can you hear me? Yep. Gotcha, yeah. Okay. Um, to kind of follow up on Danielle, um, in the last your last eighteen plate appearances heading into to, into today, you were two for eighteen. Um, was that something? Was that because of the groin, or was it more something mechanically, like how you had mentioned a few weeks ago, like your stance was too wide? Was it something like that, or was it partially because of the injury? No, I mean, I'm, I'm never going to use that as an excuse. Now, like I said, everybody's banged up at this point of the season. But, uh, you know, just don't do a little funk. You know, it happens. Uh, you know, we'll head to the off day. I'll, I'll probably watch the videos and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's all about getting your swing off the right way and not missing the pitches that, that you get to hit. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Go ahead and close this out, Dwayne. Hey, Ryan. I know uh, every game is important and every win is special. Uh, but – how about to today's win? I mean, how big is it considering the fact that you're coming off that uh, big three game sweep of Texas and then you'd lost your first two games at home to uh, Oakland and you knew that uh, down the road you had uh, six tough games coming up on the road? Yeah, obviously it feels good to get it going into the off day. Uh, you know, everybody kind of goes into the off day, smile a little bit happier, uh, you know, shows up to Miami a little bit, feel a little bit better. So it's a good thing, man, heading into, heading into this uh, road series. So, uh, you know, and try to ride that wave and uh, get something going on the road. Sounds great. Thank you. Thanks for your time, Mac. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you all on Tuesday.